corner, the battery. Fourteen millimeter. Oh, no. Not bad. Doesn't look too bad, right? Oh no, actually it does. Hmm? No. Ah, uh, it doesn't look too bad. Looks fine. They have about thirty-four thousand miles on them. Close to thirty-five, I would say. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Do they look bad or no? I mean, to me, they look pretty decent. It's that time, right? See so much corrosion right here. But the capping, yeah, you see, actually, I think the capping is a little bit too big, huh? You guys can see. We'll measure them right now, see what's the gap look like on these ones. See, this one is gonna burn. Yeah, this one too. The last two, the last two cylinders, it kind of has a little bit more, like a burnt marks. You see that? Compared to here. So guys, for uh, for the OEM spark plug for Honda, it should be um, you know zero three zero, which is zero point zero uh, thirty. 0, 0 0.0 30 millimeter so basically if you have this gauge right here you need to be in that 0 3 0 right there so this one they came pre-gapped so but still you have to inspect them make sure you see that boom right there guys that's where it should be at so this is good we'll ins we can install this one right now Just do it just with your hand, don't use no power tools or anything like that. Always spark plugs, always do it with, the, with, with your hand so you can't feel everything, you know, because you don't want to over torque anything. So, this is the OEM part right here. See that? And, um, and they came uh, pre gapped already, premium stuff. But they can pre gap but still you have to make sure you have to double check, right? Um, so you start from here, from the thin, and you move it. Yes. You start from here, from the thinner side, and you move it all the way, boom. I think maybe this one might need a little bit. I think this one. 
Also, see that one, and I needed to press it just a tiny bit, you know, not too much, but it just was not over it. It was, it passed a little bit dirty, just a little bit, but now it should be good. So, I'm not a mechanic by any means, but I just, you know, try to learn, do research, and learn, and show you guys how you guys can do this at home also, right? I'll tell you guys exactly what happened with the, with the car. I need to, you know, I need to do this for a long time, but finally doing it right now. Yeah, I think this is this one. But this one's just a little tiny bit. Tiny bit more. Guys, just you can see the comparison, right? As far as the capping. What do you guys think? I mean, you can see. That thing's stuck in a little shorter, I guess, right? Yeah. It's that time. Yeah. So you can do you start here, I believe. Then you go just like boom. 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 Half turn. And you should be good. It's just, that's all you need. But um, but will be the best. Just use your torque wrench so that way. You don't have to worry about them. So my torque wrench it doesn't go all the way to ten and fourteen. So it's gonna be yeah. You should torque them to between ten foot pound to fourteen and a half foot pound. So what I'm gonna do. Just the half turn that I told you guys. And uh, it should be should be Gucci. And as far as the coils, you, what you can do, you can line them up like this, right? Line them up like that. If you want to put them back in order, right? If you don't mind, it's fine. It's not a big deal if you don't, if you don't do it. But it's just good sometimes to put them back if especially if they they're a little old and they've never been you know swapped or anything like that you just kind of like every spark plug recognize and the fitment in uh, in there just uh, a little different so this is And this is how the old spark plug look like. Dude, I think they look really bad. Guys, let me know down below what you guys think about the six spark plugs. Almost 35,000 miles and at least 15,000, at least 15,000 or 20 miles. I mean, 20,000 miles. Uh, the car was full, bolt on, and at least three, three to 5,000 with bigger turbo. W2, as you know, guys, I'm running W2 table. So, what do you guys think? Let me know. Wow, guys, check this out. I just removed oil, 
oil catch can. Wow, look at that, how much oil. I haven't uh, checked it out for, for a while, but still, yeah, there you go. It's like about a little bit over a quarter. Yeah. Hey, look. This bolt literally is completely loose. I didn't even touch it. Yeah. This one is loose, but this one is tight. That's why it was leaking. I think maybe he broke this one too. It did. Holy shit. I think it snapped this thing right here. Hey guys, this is uh, called the, the people want to remove the higher pressure fuel pump. First thing first, disconnect your battery, then disconnect the wire for the fuel pump. Should be a cover right here. Take that with two bolts in the back and one in the front. 11 millimeter with 10 millimeter in the back. Then you have a, a bolt like this that holding the the fuel pump pressure from sides like that. It's an island key. I don't know exactly what size is that, but it is an island key uh, bolt. Then you have two fuel lines. Let me show you guys. So we got this. Is it so? After you disconnect this guy here and this one right here, there is a hose coming plugged in here, remove that also, right? To create more space. So whatever hose you think you might need to remove, I remove this one also so I can have more, uh, more room to go in here. Then you see this thing broke off. Shouldn't like that. So it should be going right there. That's what it snaps from. There you go. So, in order for you to remove the take the, the the fuel pump there is another line coming from the bottom of it right there it's 19 millimeter uh, so you gotta remove that with like a wrench go under or you come from the top but you gotta remove that also and those two bolts the island key bolts right and that's how we're gonna be removing the um, the fuel pump yeah and after you remove that line you see it goes right here right after you remove that line that goes in here and the two bolts two bolts right here right there's a bolt on the bolt and the hose the bottom one you remove that and you disconnect this one if you have it and that's how you remove the fuel pump High pressure fuel pump. So for the SI, I was driving and my lo this line right here just broke off. So we'll see. We're gonna be replacing this guy out. All right. This is the fuel pump. This is a 17 millimeter. So. Turn this this bolt right here. Get it loose. I already loosed it. It's kind of tight. I think I recommend opening this inside the car. Get it loose a little bit, or if you have like a presser or something to hold this thing in place. So, um, so I got it open with 17 millimeter. Take this one off, and this is this is the pipe, the pipeline, the feed line pipeline. Uh, we're gonna replace it with this this is the if you guys looking for the part number that's gonna be the number for it so, it is ex kind of expensive i paid 125 dollars for that lot for this one right here you guys. This is the line right here, guys. You see it? This is the line right here. 
Yeah, it looks kind of like a titanium, but I don't think so. But yeah, it's brand new. It's like paid $125. It come, uh, well, you can get it even like $70, $75 if you want to wait a couple days to receive it in the mail. Um, and make sure to take a picture for this thing right here so you know exactly how you can put it back or the way how it's facing, you know, so I don't want to get confused. And of course, it comes with the washers also. So you remove this. So you put one bolt in here. I mean, one washer in, one washer out. And boom. Yeah. You're gonna go the same way. Yeah, literally just snapped from here, guys. Just snapped from here, guys. It's crazy. But anyway, so. This one out. Grab. Grab. Dude. What I want to max him up. This is the new one. The washers are the same. No. This washer seems like stuck in there. There you go. So one washer here. Other washer here. And uh, this guy. It goes like this. And after you install it, you double check with the photo you have, make sure it is you look the same, and boom, you can put it back in the car now, and you can just torque it just with your wrench like that for now, and make sure torque it, uh, the torque spec in, uh, in the car. So before you guys install it, make sure you clean, you know, just in case if any debris in there, whatever. And it's gonna like try to dry some of the fuel that all leaked and stuff. So I will highly guys recommend using something like this for the bolt, especially if you take it the first time because what happened with this line got broke because of the uh, the fuel pump was getting loose and one of the bolts got snapped in half so yeah make sure guys always put something like this or make sure or maybe they never were tight properly either so let's so make sure guys use this stuff right here the thread lock and uh this is always the inner times. Ooh, just a little bit, guys. Just like that, you know. Just a little, little bit. Mm. Boom. Let me put it in there. Uh -huh. Right. And it's just so i i didn't know before i got the line i got older the line by itself so i didn't know i have a bolt broke like that in half until i put it off so i'm gonna use this one to ready i already ordered another bolt coming up so this bolt it will fit hold it in place just okay just make sure the car is good there's no other problems and now uh, we'll And the bolt is coming tomorrow, and then I'll put it just to to start it and stuff just for today. Don't use any other bolts. Make sure you use the ones that comes with the fuel pump, you know. At least uh, the same style. This one, I cannot find the exact same one. But I believe this one will work just fine. Yeah, boom. So now, 
I think you guys can see. And I'll just put in, you see, <laughs> O'Reilly bolt with OEM bolt uh, just to test, uh, just to try it, make sure everything is good. This is the old line that got broke, you see it. This is the old uh, bolt also. I had the massive leak in here. Um, hopefully when I start the car, will the car get really hot? Nothing caught on fire or anything. I don't know if that gas it will. I think it does go away. So this green thing, it's inserted in here. So in order for you to pull this line, you, you will find this in all um, the fuel lines has this uh, kind of connection. So you press the green ones together, you squeeze them and you start pulling. You will see it coming out until it comes off like that. Then you can just remove this, put this on the side and you can hook it to the new one. Boom. I'll show you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, you see, guys, you, you put it like that first so that line. Then you grab your hose and you hold them together in place, and boom, you push this one straight until it locks in. And that's how you do it. And you bring this nut. You guys remember I showed you the 19 millimeter? You pull bring that up and you tie it in here also. Ready? Yeah. Right, guys so we already put the the higher pressure fuel pump back on no leaks no anything the, the o'reilly bolt <laughs> is still holding fine it would be okay for for a little bit you know uh, i put some uh, tread lock you guys make sure to put the tread lock uh because again um i believe you know probably the balls got loose by themselves it's very rare to hear that but it's possible or they might forgot they only had tied them or the or they had uh, they tied them with the tool but they don't tie them all the way with the spec or they tied them with the spec and maybe just got loose from what i know i think it's 18 foot pound uh those two bolts and um and the the bolt that hold that line that got broke I just make sure tight enough with my hand and, until I couldn't turn it anywhere. So no leaks, no anything like that. Uh, e even the bottom bolt also, you know, uh, just again hand tight, make sure uh, it's tight enough and don't over tighten them until you break anything. Took the car for a test drive. Uh, the car seems to driving just fine. No issues in there or anything like that. That's great. I stepped on it. Uh, I couldn't record it because I don't have anywhere where to put my phone. But uh, I'll be making a couple polls and probably add them to the video so you guys see. But yeah, just make sure you guys take care of your fuel pump. Uh, higher pressure fuel pump. Make sure the bolts are good and everything. Uh, it, it was um, a very strange thing. Uh, the code that I got in the car, it's P0087. 
it was more likely like a the low pressure fuel pump the one it goes in the gas tank that's what i thought that's actually what the code was for you know but it ended up the actually the high yeah make the cars uh run horrible it would keep going to lean mode and it was kind of like 30 miles away actually when this problem start um away from the house so i managed to come back home um after the car it goes lean back so I just shut it off and wait a little bit and it got my flash pro retuning and everything. So I noticed that any time I would go to sport mode, which is has more power, the car will start tripping and go to, you know, lean mode or whatever. So if I stay in a normal drive, the car keeps driving just fine. So I'm like, okay. But the second day when I started, I had like some really like a vibration noise. It's like the cam seems like kind of loose type of thing so i did the uh i did the spark plug test you know take removing all the uh, coil one by one making sure everything it works it seems everything is working but i had some new spark plugs um waiting on for the car for for two years or whatever so i was planning to put them in time it's just been yeah you know, any time you know that i have free but I just couldn't put them on because I, I was really busy. But so I installed a new sort uh, spark plug, and it just got worse after I did the spark plugs. Took the car for a test drive, and it was just uh, vibration anytime you uh, you accelerate uh, from you know uh, five thousand RPMs or whatever your RPMs starts from. Right, mine it idle when it's everything settled around. Uh, 700 700 ish uh, rpms so any anything from there all the way to like 3000 rpms you hear like blah, 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 like like uh, like cams kind of like loose type of thing some kind of like a, a new dash vibration whatever but actually the high pressure because it has the cover and it has a foam on it and a cover so it can manage the vibration a little bit but still you can hit it definitely if you know your car and um and it was just uh then i parked the car i came back from home like okay i probably just the fuel pump it got worse it does doesn't you know send enough or deliver enough fuel to to you know to the motor maybe that's the problem but when i shut off the car i i smelled uh fuel smell you know like kind of strong i'm like hmm, it's kind of strange i never you know smell like that but it was kind of late that night it was like midnight or so then i'm like you know what i'm gonna deal with it tomorrow so tomorrow i was busy you kind know, of all day then in the afternoon i turned it on it turns on it, it always turns on like first try it doesn't kind of struggle or anything like that it's just when you hit this uh, start button it goes on right away then after after i started up it's just the gas are shooting everywhere. You can see the huge leak going on the floor and everything. The, all the engine pain, you know, because it start, you know, splashing everywhere. So obviously you, you can't, you cannot see it. I mean, you can't ignore the leak where it's coming from, obviously, right? So, so when I opened things up, I found the line. I thought only the line, so I ordered only the line. But when I removed the whole thing, I found the bolt because I can. I, I was able to see the bolt, but the bolt was just sitting in there, but not even tight, you know. One, it was like as far hand you can turn it with your hand, but with the tool, it's just it was super loose. With the tool, you just like oh goodness, this is loose. Another one, obviously, it got broken in half, so it was easy to pull it out. And the other piece that got stuck in the block, uh, or got. Uh, Thank God I don't have to do no drilling or anything. So because, because the bullet was loose, so the thread itself too, it was loose. So I just turned it around, threw that out when we get in. Um, yeah, so if you ever guys heard come, uh, like a loud noise or whatever, make sure you guys check your uh, fuel pump, especially if you worked on it recent time. I don't know, you did some upgrades or some you know change the fuel lines or whatever like that and you start you know your car start going to lean mode and stuff like that even sometimes read, read it as low pressure you might think it's uh so check the higher uh the higher pressure fuel pump also so that may uh i didn't think that is gonna be i thought it was more you know what i'm saying but the leak that makes 
But that's what happened, guys. But uh, the cottage is good to go right now. Hopefully, you guys like the video. It's informative for you guys. Um, obviously, you know, I just got the car back. And I'm just going to, like, taking it easy, making sure to get off all the issues and it, any concerns that I have about the car. And um, we'll, we'll be making a lot of more content now. We got the car back. And uh, hopefully, you guys uh, uh, subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in another one. Peace.